All right, everybody, welcome back to the shop. So we're gonna check our piston to valve clearance with our KB116 dome pistons and our AFR185 heads. I have my used gasket here, so it's all ready to compressed thickness. Uh, Let's bring you over here and we'll get some clay on here, roll it over. All right, I got everything I need here. I did take these lifters and turn them into solid rollers. So if you don't know, you take this little clip See the little wire clip there? You take that out, take this plunger out, then there's another plunger, you take it out and there's a spring. Take the spring out, flip that last plunger over, and then put this back in and put your clip back on. And now it's a solid roller, you cannot move it. So when we check this, there will be no compression. It'll be like this, this lifter is fully pumped up. So you need to do that first. Either that or you need to put some checker springs on your cylinder heads. Uh, I don't really want to do that. I want to leave the heads alone, not make any changes. Head studs are in. Uh, I didn't video that. The bottom row, of course, has this... Uh, Permatex thread sealer high temperature. Put that in each one of those. The top five just get a light oil. All right, so it doesn't take much of this with these dome pistons because most of this goes up in the chamber on the head. So we'll make a Small little caterpillar looking piece here. Just where the valve will go into the relief. I'm sure uh, you've seen many of these done, but this is the step I have to take to get this motor all buttoned up. And uh, I do have the camshaft in here already. I'll give the specs on that after we do this here. It might be a little too much in there. All right. Bring you in, let you see that. Okay, we're going to set the head on. All right, now since my gasket is already compressed being it's a used gasket i do not have to torque these to spec we're just going to tighten them down the gasket simulates it already being like if it was a fresh gasket being it torqued down all the way where it would stop compression we're just doing this cylinder here Snug those up, give them a little bit of a torque. Nothing crazy, just make sure it's all the way down. Okay, now set up our lash to zero. I should show you. Uh, <clears throat> 
Now I did take a Sharpie, see it down there, marked across the top of the valve to make sure our push rods are the correct length. And they are. The roller rides in the center of the valve stem. Get the zero lash, be able to spin the push rod, but not move it up and down. Right there. I am on the base circle of the camshaft, so both exhaust and intake are at their lowest point right now. Right there. Okay. Zero lash, can spin them, the push rods, no up and down movement. Okay. So now we're going to rotate it clockwise. Actually, yeah. Okay. So number one does the same as number six. So I can watch number six over here. Pistons all the way down. So right now, my exhaust valve is starting to open. Pistons coming back up. The exhaust valve is just starting to close. The pistons almost to the top. The exhaust valve is completely closed. The piston is to the top of the cylinder. The piston is starting to move back down. Exhaust valve or intake valve is starting to open. <clears throat> Piston's about halfway down. Intake valve is just now starting to close. And now both valves are closed. Let me just roll it over one more time. We've already compressed the clay. Okay. I'm going to bring it just so the... Let's get it so we can get the clay off of there fairly easy. Right there. So both of these are closed and the piston should be almost to the top. So let's take these back off, remove our push rods. I'll show you the roller mark here so you can see. <clears throat> oh, focus. Does not like shiny surfaces. Right there. Can you see that? Right by my thumb, see the line basically in the center of the valve stem. That's where the roller rides. Okay, Let's set you up here. Back into focus. <clears throat> Uh, 
Uh, I could feel it compressing the clay as I rolled the engine over. These should have large enough valve reliefs to clear these 202 valves. And our cam is 544 lift. I'd have to check. Uh, it's a split duration camshaft. We'll have to see what what that is here on the sheet. All right, here we go. Let's pull this off. Oh, look at that. You see that? Right there. The arc of the intake valve. It's actually down in, away from the outer edge of the valve relief. <clears throat> Which is something we definitely want. So, what is that? We have one point nine four thousandths of clearance from valve to the the relief. Didn't even touch the exhaust valve at all. Or the exhaust valve didn't touch the clay at all. So we're just gonna remove that. We have plenty on the exhaust side. It's this intake side that we want to take a look at. So I'm going to cut this clay very lightly with this razor blade. Trying not to distort the side that we're going to measure here. I can tell you right now we have plenty. Rule of thumb is 80 thousandths is what you usually want to see. <clears throat> All right. We're zeroed. I'm going to drop this down on there. There's a little chunk sitting there. Okay. No way. Right there. We have almost two hundred thousands. We have one nine nine five. Basically two hundred thousands clearance. That's absolutely amazing. I did not expect that at all. Let me bring you in here so you can visually see this. Man, this camera is not doing good today. Look at that. Look how much clearance we have. That is great. And like I said, it didn't even come close to touching anything on the exhaust valve. So we have plenty of room. We could change this combination up quite a bit and not worry about anything. There we go. All right. That's going to be it. I know it's going to be a short video. 
But that was all I was going to do was check piston to valve clearance, which is good. So now I can start assembling the rest of this. The real head gaskets, get the heads bolted on. Won't be long. We'll have this thing fully assembled, ready to go in the Mustang here. I put it in primer the other day, so it looks a lot different than it was uh, previously. But yep, thanks for watching.